From the Empire State to the Golden Gates, this is Quad Radio USA. Now, with all the dirt from the world of ATV motocross and GNCC racing, here's Mr. Ten Seconds. Rodney Tomlin. As we head into a brand new Grand National Cross Country Championship race number three in a row. And of course, uh, Quad Radio today going to be speaking with none other than eight time GNCC champion and the greatest rider of all time in my book, Mr. Barry Hawk. And welcome to Quad Radio, bud. Good evening, Rodney. Glad to be on again. Yeah, yeah, good to have you on again as well. And uh, what's going on this evening? This is uh, Wednesday before the event, and uh, it looks like that uh, home this time, man. It's not very often the week of a, a GNCC that I can call you and actually catch you at home. Yeah, man, that's, it's, uh, I'm enjoying it, actually. Uh, spent uh, a few days last week at the track, and... Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and of course today at the track, and I left, it started raining on me up there about 4 o'clock today, worked for a couple hours in the rain, then headed home, and actually I'm doing a little bit of yard work right now, so it's uh, kind of kind of nice to be able to time at home and in my own bed, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. <laughs> no doubt, that's that, that does have to be a big plus for this weekend. The event being held in Masontown. Can you give us a little bit more about this year's uh, GNCC, this uh, this new and third event in a uh, new event in a row? Yeah, it's uh, actually I've heard quite a few people say about uh, there were, used to be a local series that raced there, and uh, I heard a few people say, well, I guess I raced there probably 12, 14 years ago. But I've heard a lot of people say, oh, I raced her before, and I didn't like it, and this and that. Uh, to be honest, uh, we've done some digging, and they haven't had any races there like in eight years. So, yeah, we're going to be on a few of their old trails, but to be honest with you, uh, you probably can't tell you're going to be on some used trails. There's a, probably, I don't know, a few hundred yards you'll be able to tell you was on up, but other than that, uh, you know, yeah, we're on some old trails, but there's a lot of new stuff, and uh, it's a little bit rock, rocky, as I would say, it's not nearly as rocky as Snowshoe, but uh, um, it should be a good event. I actually, uh, Jeff Russell, uh, spent a lot of time up there and found a lot of new trail, and uh should be challenging, but fun. Yeah, for sure, and, and one thing that I do want to do is I want to pat you guys on the back. Uh, I've been out there, I've worked new events before with the trail crew, and I've worked even events that, you know, there's been existing trail there before and not a lot of new stuff has been cut. And I know either way it goes, you, you, it's a lot of work, and especially whenever you go into a new territory where there's no really idea of what uh, you're going to be dealing with, especially like at the Mammoth GNCC there about a month ago, man. I mean, you guys knocked that one out of the park. I do want to pat you on the back for that one, Barry Hawk. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of work that, uh, you know, I mean, I, I used to be the racer, and, you know, you go to a, uh, a new facility. If you've been to somewhere you've raced before, you know what to expect. When you go somewhere new, or, you know, there's a lot of questions. Was it going to be rocky? Is it going to be fast? going to be tight? And all that stuff. And uh, when you go somewhere new, and actually the Kentucky event, there really wasn't many existing trails there because it's not a riding park. They don't have any trail rock there, so there was a lot, a lot, a lot of cutting new trails and uh, making stuff and, and just being able to get out there and and try and tie all the sections together. It's uh, it's a lot of work, and uh, you know, I mean, I mean, not just myself and Jeff Russell, but the, the rest of the guys. I mean, John Jarrett, Tommy Harris, uh, Dean, Dan Lewin, uh I know I'm going to miss quite a few guys, but Jared Bolton. Every. Jared Bolton, yeah. I mean, there's a ton of guys. Howard Russell. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of guys that work out there from, well, at the Kentucky. Now, we was there from Monday until, you know, till actually the following Monday. And, I mean, from daylight to dark every day, you're just out there, you know, cutting the trail, making sure everything goes smooth. And a new event, I mean, it's really, it's really hectic on us as a work crew because it, you don't know 
kind of, you know, how it's sort of a muddy section. You don't know if it's going to hold up. And, you know, some of the tracks that we've raced at other years, say for Georgia, for example, there's a couple sections that the first year we've been there, the track went through it and it didn't hold up. So it kind of created a bottleneck and a lot of problems. And, uh, you know, it, when you go to a new event, you're not sure how stuff's going to hold up. So, you know, it's kind of like, you're pulling your hair out, you know, man, I hope this section holds up. I hope this, you know, works out good. But everything went smooth at Kentucky. Everything went smooth at Indiana. Everybody seemed to everybody seemed to like the Indiana track. I've heard mixed reviews on the Kentucky track. Either it, there was nowhere in the middle ground for the guys. It either seemed like they loved it or they hated it. But, you know, I mean, I've learned real quick you're not going to make everyone happy doing what I'm doing. So I just we just try to do the best we can, and hopefully everybody – <laughs> a whole new perspective for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I know. I mean, we've got a few emails, you know. At uh, actually, at uh, the Kentucky track, I was on the hill, uh, the the hill that there was quite a few guys didn't had some trouble, I should say, making it up. But uh, on the quad race, we actually had to reroute the track because uh, the leaders were coming, and there were still a few guys on the hill, so. Rather than, uh, you know, send the guys up there whenever there will be a few guys stuck or in the line they want to take, we just rerouted it. The bike race, we end up, everything went smooth there on that. I mean, yeah, there was guys getting stuck, but everybody made it up. At the... What was funny was that uh, in Kentucky, I rode the quad up. But yeah, I was in a four-wheel, four-wheel drive, but I went up there, and I thought, you know, I think the guys can do it. Yeah, there's going to be a few guys get stuck, but everybody can get up it. But, you know, it just it maybe a little more ground clearance on the utility quad maybe made all the difference in the world. But, uh, you know, it's just, it's a learning experience for me, but, you know, I mean, I'm, it's fun and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. Well, good. You know, and I tell you what, uh, that, that wasn't really much of a mistake. I know there were a few people that got kind of caught behind the eight ball on that one, but, uh, all in all, it could have, I mean, there's been worse situations, and it could have been worked out a lot worse, but uh, good job on that, you know, and, and like you say, everything went smooth. I know rave reviews with the track over in Indiana, uh, the, the the facility layout, I know it was rather unique, and I was chosen a lot was uh, cozy. Yes, yes, it was. It was uh, Kentucky, actually, you know, I guess the, the pits, everybody was in one spot. It was a big field. Indiana, we didn't have a big field, so everybody was a uh, was I guess uh, you know maybe maybe a little bit more uh, tight knit or, or whatever. You know there wasn't a big field, so everybody kind of had to huddle up together and, and make it work. But uh, you know it went good, and uh, you know, it's uh, heard a few people say, well, you know we couldn't be, we couldn't get beside our body, or we couldn't do this, or we couldn't do that. But you know, like I said, you can't make everyone happy. But I guess it, in Looking back on it, you know, the main thing is try to make an enjoyable experience for everyone, and if the guys are out there racing and they like it, then, you know, that's, that's the main thing. So. Oh, I, I, you know, I honestly, I mean, you talk about uh, hearing some negative stuff, and I talk to a lot of people, and I heard way less negative than you did on both events. People that were talking to you were probably giving you some negatives. So I'm going to tell you right now, I talked to a lot more people that were positive about things than negative. So uh, don't uh, don't wear that monkey on your shoulder or anything like that, B-Hawk, because there's no wor- no need in that, that's for sure. And as we head into uh, this upcoming this upcoming race in Masontown, West Virginia, uh, like you said before, there's been trails that have been pre-existing and, and it's, you know, like years and years ago. But uh, let's let's kind of talk a little bit about this. What can folks expect? I understand um, coming into this one, it's it may seem a little more boondockish than what a lot of the traditional GNCCs may be. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Actually, uh, John Jarrett pulled in there yesterday. He said, "Boy, this place is out in the boonies." <laughs> and Jeff Russell started laughing. He said, "You're only four miles from civilization, but uh, you know where actually where it's at is." Um, it's in Preston County, West Virginia, and uh, I guess if you're, I mean, to me, it, it, it's it's a little bit in the middle of nowhere, but it's nowhere in the middle of nowhere like what I would consider. Yeah, it's it, and actually from the uh, from the interstate to the track entrance is 14 miles. So, you know, yeah, it's a little bit out there, but I think in the end, I think uh, I think it should be a pretty good track. I mean, I'm uh, you know we put a lot of work into it, so. 
it should be good. Uh, excuse me. Another thing I wanted to touch on was uh, Indiana track. Uh, that's actually, I think, a riding park. So there was a lot of trails there that we that we used, existing trails. And everybody seemed to like it. But then on the flip side of that, I've heard people saying, well, you know, there's been a race here. You know, you're going to run on trails. Well, we ran old trails in Indiana, and everybody liked it. So, you know, it's kind of like I'm kind of scratching my head on it. The guys want new trails, but they rode Indiana and loved it, which was old trails. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of one of the things where I'm just like, well, the guys want new stuff, but they like Indiana. So, right. you know, maybe it has to just do with a new event, you know, maybe somewhere different than, than some of the other facilities we've been at. But, uh, well, you know, like the I thing, said, I mean. And the thing you got to realize, too, Barry, I mean, that's just, I mean, you're you're hearing, you, you've heard the old adage, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? Oh yeah, yep. Well, a lot of times the only the only time you hear something is when someone is not as happy or or, or something along those lines for whatever reason. So they're going to make the noise, and the people that are happy aren't making any noise. So just just remember remember that there are going to be some naysayers out there. But just because somebody's naysaying, don't don't take it don't take it to heart, and don't think that everyone's thinking that. All right, because I'm not here. I mean, I've heard that there's a lot of rocks there, but I'll tell you one thing: I've heard a lot of excitement about this event myself. So, I mean, using some of the old trails, some new stuff that you guys are tying in, I think it's pretty neat. Uh, rocks, I mean, uh, you you liking it? It's not like like what you would expect to see, like at say snowshoe. Uh, would you compare it to like last year's Rock Run or Mountain Ridge or anything along those lines? Probably not even that bad, would it be? No, I, honestly, I don't think it's like Rock Run or uh, or the Somerset event. It, it's a rock. Actually, what I'm comparing it to is the old Hard Rock track, which uh, right away you think, ah, oh, Hard Rock, ah, it must be rocky. And yes, there is certain sections that are going to be rocky, but it's not going to be a rock where it's like it just tearing your equipment up. It's just you're going to have to slow down and go through the stuff and, and maybe not get a flat tire or whatever, but it's not the big stuff that's just going to tear the underneath of your quad up. It, it's not that. It's it's kind of like take your line through the stuff. So, yeah, there's going to be rock sections, but overall, it's not what I would consider a, like a rock track. Yes, I, I'm going to say maybe 20% of it's rock. But it's not, like I said, it's not the rock that's going to tear, tear your equipment up and you just say, oh, man, i got to get, you know, this kid fight or whatever. It's not right, going to be that it's type not, of stuff. It's not something they're going to have to expect to come in there and, and rebuild after they're done, um, in most cases anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's talk about this facility from a family standpoint. When we go in, you talk about people and they, they mention about the fact about uh, – not being able to park next to the buddy. What's the parking going to be like? I mean, if you liken this, would you liken this to the Mammoth, or would you liken it more to what we were at last at the Limestone in in Indiana? Well, I think it's kind of between the two, maybe, because at the Mammoth, you know, everybody was in a big field. Well, this one, there's a lot of fields, but, you know, I mean, it's 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 kind of up on a mountain, so there's a, plenty of flat parking, and, yeah, People will get beside their buddy. It's going to be a little bit more spread out than than maybe Kentucky was, but it's it actually what we try to do when we go to somewhere is we try to put like the pits and and the start and the finish. We try to put everything in the middle of the track. That way we can kind of make a clover leaf and and you you can see your riders say every five or eight or ten minutes whatever. So you're not so they don't take off and you don't see them for twenty minutes. We try to, that, that's what we look for is to have the pits, have everything kind of in the middle. In this place, we kind of have that. We have a lot of, basically everything's kind of laid out in the middle and the track goes, it's not a, from above if you're looking at a snapshot above, it's not a clover leaf, but we're able to go two or three miles away from the pits and then come back in and then go back out and come back in. So it's, uh, you know, it should be enjoyable for everyone. There's actually going to be a little, mud hole that is going to be a couple hundred yards behind the start, and we have a line around it, you know, if the guys don't want to go through the mud, or if it gets pretty bad, you know, there there should be a line above it or below it to go through it. There's going to be a hill climb not far from the pits, so but whenever you get there, you're going to think, ah, this is in the middle of nowhere, but 
honestly, from the, our standpoint, it should be a fun event, and everyone should enjoy it, from the pit crews to the riders. So what about, it's, uh, you know, we're looking forward to it. What about cell service, man? <laughs> cell service, actually, I, you would think when you go there, you would think, oh, I'm not going to have cell service, but you do. Actually, uh, today, when we had our conference call, I was actually over the one ridge and, you know, away from the pits, and I thought, oh, I might have to go up on a hill, but, you know, cell service, if I got Verizon, and it works good everywhere. Well, that's great, man. That That's awesome. <laughs> I, know, yeah. I know that sounds like a silly question, but uh, at the same time, I know you know as well as I do it's not. And, and it's funny because I don't know if you remember, but I think they, they used to, to uh, get rib JR a lot about it. They, the new facilities, they used, used to say, what do you do, go out and, and drive and drive and drive until you don't get cell service and say, okay, this is where we're having a GNCC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's kind of funny because, I mean, you bring that up. I have a lot of people ask me, you know, you got cell service. You know, it's like their second question. You got cell service. And, yeah, we do. I, I actually, I think it's AT&T Towers, but, uh, you know, you can get full service there, so... You know, you don't have to, like in North Carolina, I had to walk up on top of the hill to get service, but this isn't like that. You're already on top of the hill, so it uh, works good. Actually, if uh, people are into sightseeing, if you walk around the corner from the pro pits, I mean, you can see 30, 40 miles to the next mountain ridge. So it's uh, wow. it's kind of like snowshoe, but I think you can see more than snowshoe, maybe. Right. So. Right, because maybe you're not so high up and... I know what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. That's that's pretty neat. So uh, it'll be a great picture-taking opportunity, a great uh, uh, nature opportunity, I imagine, because with it being spring and everything, I imagine it's just beautiful over there right now. Oh yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's uh, I mean, riding around there, I'm not, of course, you know, I'm all over the place, but I mean, deer and turkey and raccoons, and I haven't seen any bear. I, I thought I may, but I haven't seen any bear, but. Tons and tons of deer and turkey, so it's uh, it's definitely a neat place, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's definitely interesting. Well, that's great, Barry. I, I really appreciate you taking the time out to talk with us tonight. I know, you know, it's not often that you have the opportunity to mow grass and weed eat and and everything, and and then I take you away from that for about twenty or twenty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem at all. I'm like I said, I'm. Grateful to be able to come home and do this stuff, and spend time with the family, the wife, and the kids. Done. So, although I'd rather be sitting back taking it easy. You know, <laughs> hey, actually, actually, if I was somewhere in a motel right now, my wife would be calling, saying, "I cut the grass today," or you know, I had to do this, or I had to do that, and I'm home now. So, uh, you know, it's it's actually, uh, I'm pretty happy about it. That's great. So, man, I, man. Hey, I, I keep telling Jeff Russell and Terry Joe, I said, let's go back to the olden days where I used to have. Like five or six races within an hour of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in my own bed. So, there but I go. mean, I know those days are long gone. I mean, we used to race at the Hard Rock Rock Track and the old Brownsville Track. Actually, I did go and look at the Brownsville Track earlier this year, and I think it would be probably one of the funnest events track wise that we could have. But we've just outgrown the, the parking. There's just not enough parking there. So, right. you know, that's that's one of the downsides when you have, uh, you know, a, a big series like the GNCC and you get the amount of people. It takes some of the places where you have a great track, but if you can't get everybody parked in there, then you're, you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot. So. Yep, yep, that's true. That's very true. And uh, I tell you, it's uh, it's going to be exciting. I, I'm pretty excited about it. I can't wait to, to get there this weekend and uh, and see what it's all about. And uh, I know that you guys have done a great job. I know we got uh, UTVs this weekend, and we've got uh, 50cc riders. So we've got a jam-packed Saturday. I don't know how in the world you guys are making so many tracks, but kudos and hats off to you if you can pull it all off, brother. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely the tie everything together that's for sure but uh you know i think we're actually uh go section this weekend with uh pa cross country the new east coast off-road and uh the a work series so actually it's a triple sanction event so uh you know i, I think you know, we we may have some help from those guys well we're not we're definitely going to have some help from those guys out there to, to make some changes and make everything go smooth so uh you know it's it's I guess maybe a little bit 
of a burden off of us to to have some more people out there that have the knowledge of changing the tracks around and doing the right thing, and you know should have plenty of help out there. So that's that's always a good thing, you know, having having those triple sanctions. Anyone that any co-sanction is is great, you know, for for us and for them. Exactly. And I understand that the uh, CMA is going to be there. We're going to have some volunteers from the Christian Motorcyclists Association. So it's, uh, I mean, uh, that, that, that's great, man. That just goes to show you how much people love and respect uh, the GNCC and want to be a big part of it. And I know it makes your job a lot easier. Yes, definitely. I know at it, uh, it, uh, the North Carolina around Mosha, we have the CMA People come in there and they, they do do an awesome job, and my hats off to them. You know, really, really helps us out a ton. So uh, you know, and, and a lot of people may not even know realize what they do, but you know, sometimes you have road crossings or, or different crossings, and those guys are willing to go out there and, and come help and make sure everything the event goes smooth. So uh, you know, we we definitely appreciate their help. For sure, for sure, and we appreciate you too, Barry Hawk. Well, we appreciate you, Rodney, guys. You're doing an awesome job with the uh, announcement and with the uh, quad radio, and uh, definitely, definitely appreciate the effort you're putting into it. Oh, shucks, man. No, I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate being appreciated, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know the feeling, bud. All right, man. You go, get, go trim it up, and uh, I will see you this weekend, all right? All right, man. Sounds good. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's Barry Hawk. I'm Rodney Tomlin. This is Quad Radio.